Hey guys, how's it going? Sofa Lockpicker here, and welcome back to my Lockpicking Homeschool series. In today's video, what I'm going to go over is what a pen feels like when it is set when the pens are facing down. So this is an upside down looking lock to the US perspective, but to add a little bit more clarity, what I'm going to do is refer this to pens down in the typical way, at least in the United States, would be referred to as pens up. So when you have a lock in the pens down position, you can still pick it and you can get it open with a lot of success, which I'll try to show right here. So we're going to get a click on one, click on two, click on three, and move on over to four, got a little click on four, and then up oh, we overset five and back off the tension and go back to four, go back to five. And our lock is now opened up. So one thing you're going to notice when you go to set a pen, when the pens are facing down, is that the springs are going to be oriented in the bottom position. So now the spring is pushing the driver pin up, and then that driver pin is pushing up on the key pen. So when you have set that driver pin, the key pin is going to have sunk all the way down to gravity. It's going to be resting right at the very bottom of the plug here, right above where the driver pin is. It is going to just sit down there. So when you're feeling for the set pen, you're going to just feel a pen that has sunken all the way down. It's going to not be springy. It's going to not be binding. It's just going to feel sort of sunken. So if you want to emulate what that feels like, what you can do is pick your lock open, and then you can just go through one at a time and just push down on each key pen and just sort of feel what that sunken feeling is like. That is going to be precisely the feeling that you're going to feel when you are picking a lock in this position. This is a really great technique for anyone to do when they are first starting out to learn to pick a lock. So let's try to pick this lock one more time and go through it again. So I'm going to put some tension on the lock and I'm going to lift up on one. So I feel one is binding. It's binding, I got a shear line click. And now when I lift up on one, what I feel is that sunken key pen. When I move over to two, I immediately feel it binding up. When I go over to three, I still feel that springy feeling because you can see the spring is pushing up on the driver pen. My key pen is not binding and that's not ready to be picked. Same with four and same with five. So now I'm gonna go over to two, I'm going to set that. Now I have that sunken feeling. I'm going to move on to three which is binding up as well. So now that we have pens one through three set, we're able to have a really good understanding of the feedback that we're getting from the lock. So now I'm feeling four, which is feeling binding. Five is feeling springy. So let's go over to four. Now through the process of elimination, we've seen our binding orders one, two, three, four. We're gonna to go to the last pen, lift that up, and get the lock opened up. So. One great tip is when you do pick the lock open, always just try to go through and lift on all of the key pens by pushing down on them so you can feel what that sunken feeling is like. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you today. This has been a really quick tip on what a set pen feels like when you're picking a lock upside down, also known with the pens down position. Either way, guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.